Hello, this is Janet16 and today we will be taking a look at Hornby's new Peckett B2 locomotive. There are three being released. We got Sherwood here. I believe the second one is... I, I've got to be wrong on this, I know I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Coronation. Um, and then they're doing the National Cardboard Blue. Um, I planned to get the National Cardboard Blue one. However, that's not been released with the two that's already been released. I think that's coming next month. But I saw this one on the website, saw some photos of it, and I thought, yeah, this is going to be an absolute perfect loco for my new model railway, the National Cardboard Colliery Catch Bank. Um, so I, I bought it. This one come from Rails of Sheffield. Now, I'm not stuck down with one shop. I buy from all of them. Rails of Sheffield, Hattons, Derails, Antics, you know, nearly all of them. Um, so I'm not stuck with one shop. I shop around. They all got the same prices. I just went with Rails of Sheffield um, this time. So what we're going to do is get it out of the box. Now, I've not seen these locos at all. I know they've been on display at several different shows around the country. I've not been to any this year apart from Thornbury, and they weren't at Thornbury. Um, so this is actually my first proper look at the model in the flesh. So let's get it out of the box. Okay, here is the model. I've just had a little uh, look at it, make sure there's no bits hanging off, no damage. As far as I'm aware, it, it is absolutely perfect. Um, now, I don't know much about these real locos. Um, so, all I know is they're industrial, and that's what I need. Um, so, Hornby, a couple of years ago, released the 040 packet. Um, when they announced their 2019 range, this was one of the locos a lot of people were very excited about. And I can see why. Um, I think it's going to fit in really well on my new layout. So, first thing to note with this loco is the lovely nameplate on the side, Sherwood, or Sherwood. Number four, down here, and I have to say the lining is fantastic. It looks very good. Um... Little bits of detail all over the loco like this. Fine detail lamp hook up here. Separately fitted parts. Uh, there is cab detail. We'll take a look at that. Um, there's a very fine pipe there. I don't know if that comes up on camera. And that would just be waste of um, water, cooling, whatever. Um, not sprung loaded buffers. Nem couplings. This yellow and black checkered front on the buffer beam very nice um, try and move the loco around without disturbing the camera too much and there you go the red coupling rods on this are really nice makes the loco stand out from the others um, but again that was quite common on the national coal board to have red coupling rods around the wheels here uh, this loco has just come out of the box, so I've not tested it whatsoever yet. And I'm going to have to give it a full run in as well at some point. Um, but I will just see what it runs like a bit later. Co-war in the bunker. Um, looks quite nice. I don't. I, I might replace that. Um, all the locos on the new layout is going to be heavily weathered anyway. So this one will be going through the weathering process. Um... I do like those buffer beams. I think they look superb there. Just try and move it around. Hopefully you see some of the cab detail in here. Very nice. It's, it's always nice to have cab detail and you expect it now on the newer models. I mean you expect it on O gauge and most double O gauge locos have it now which is great. But the loco is, the colour is very nice. So the colour is like an olive green. Um, on camera it looks more yellow than it is green. Um, and that's one of the things I noticed with a lot of the photos before this model was you know, released. Um, it looked more yellow than it did green. 
but in the flesh it's a very nice olive green colour um, should fit in very nicely on a layout with um, some hoppers behind it, some small 16 ton mineral wagons or if you've got um, a preserved railway this would look very nice with one or two maybe three 040 um, sorry four wheeled uh, coaches I, I wouldn't expect to see these things on Mark 1's um, you could get away on a preserved railway with possibly um, some Gresley non-corridor coaches I think they would look pretty pretty nice um, especially teak ones but as an industrial loco which I'm going to be using it for you're going to see this loco with mineral wagons and maybe one or two tankers for the uh, fuel for the diesels on my layout but yes very nice detail on the model um, especially down here I don't know if you can you can see some of this that's probably the motor just in there I don't know if that's the motor or not um, so these locos are DCC ready now Hornby are also doing the option that you can buy these locos DCC fitted so there will be room for chipping that somewhere I'm not messing with DCC anymore so uh, I'll leave that to you guys when you get your hands on one of these lovely locomotives I would say act fast because this loco like the 040 packets when they first come out were very popular and I did miss out on the um, the Palmers and Huntley ones or Huntley and Palmers I missed out on that one and you know they're very expensive models now when they do come up on eBay so I would recommend go and get one of these I do believe Hornby are making more numbers of their stock than they used to just so they don't uh, sell out um, and after the troubles, you know, Hornby have had over the last couple of um, years, they can still produce a very, very nice model. Um, and a lot of this is down to Simon Kohler coming back to Hornby. And thank God he has come back because they really were on the wrong path. Um, and to get a local like this, I mean, it looks stunning. I'm... I'm staring at it now thinking I just want to get it on a new layout that I've not even built yet. Um, even though I've had a box of track come with this loco this morning. So yeah, I can't wait to get this loco. Especially on the shed scene on my new layout where some of these locos are going to be on display. Um, one of the exciting things about this loco and this new model from Hornby is what liveries are they going to do next? Because, of course, these locals were used all over the country, um, industrial-wise, especially like Wales and that. So, I'm very interested to see what other liver is. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was waiting for the blue one. So, I've still got a blue one on its way, uh, with the NCB writing on the side of it. But, yeah, I'm still very interested to see what other colours they do. I'm hoping they do some green ones with this small NCB logo just here. Um, and I, I need to get some J94s as well, um, which would go nice with this loco. So, that is it for me for this new Hornby Peckett. So, this is number four. The R number is R3693. And, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. So, I'm going to go and stick it on the track off camera and see what it runs like. Okay, so I just gave it a little test run on the layout just to make sure it works really. So I don't have to um, send it back. It works fine, runs very smoothly. Straight out of the box. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well why didn't you show us it running on your layout? That's because my layout is a complete mess at the moment. There's a lot of work going on in that room, not just on the layout. So I'll show you it soon and I, I will do another video on this locomotive running. But at the moment it's not a great idea to show you the layout and the state it's in. Um, soon you will see it, it's just, like I said, a lot of work going on, so I'd rather show you it when it's in a better state. But no, the loco runs absolutely fine out of the box. You will get the odd loco now and then that probably has a problem out of the box. I've had, I've had locos like that, but no, this one's perfect. 
Um, so I'm very excited with it. I can't wait to get it on the new layout properly and do some pictures of it with some coal hoppers and everything like that. Um, National coal board stock. And get some pictures of the shed area because that's the area I will be working on first. But no, I highly recommend this packet. Go and grab yourself one. I'll put a link to Rails of Sheffield in the description of this video. Um, please like, please subscribe. If I could reach um, some new subscribers up to 900 um, before this month is out, that would be fantastic. And I hope to bring you more unboxings, uh, well, reviews of Locos soon. So thanks for watching and bye for now.